the Louisiana Purchase also led to the Lewis and Clark expedition. Um, this is interesting mainly because it leads to the United States claim on most of uh, the uh, modern upper northwest. Um, 1804, uh, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark set out from a village near uh, St. Louis, modern day St. Louis, uh, on the Mississippi River. They went up river. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, they went up the Missouri River, uh, and uh, six months later, they were in North Dakota. Uh, in 1805, they added two guides uh, from North Dakota, uh, a French fur trader and his wife named Sacagawea. Uh, Sacagawea uh, provided uh, crucial assistance in the Lewis and Clark expedition. Uh, she was a guide, she was a translator, she was a negotiator as they moved through the upper north uh, west uh, and meeting uh, other North American tribes. Uh, her assistance was crucial for them to get to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, in November of 1805, they got to uh, what's modern Astoria, Oregon. Um, they wintered there. They set up uh, a fort named Fort Clasop. Uh, uh, and uh, the next winter, uh, after the winter, they head back and they finally get back to St. Louis in 1806. Um, they sent back samples of uh, plants and animals that hadn't been seen before. Uh, they drew maps, they uh, did all of this stuff that set up the future expeditions into the wilderness by the uh, Americans as they move further and further into the West. Um, it's only another 50 years before Americans are settling into uh, California. Um, and uh, it's not much longer, uh, it's, it's just a little bit before that, that the United States is actually claiming Oregon based on uh, the Lewis and Clark expedition and all the people that followed them into Oregon uh, using uh, the information that they learned uh, from the expedition.